Alright, here we have another evaluation video. And this one actually might be a repair video, but there's not too much wrong with this. What we've got here is a Hewlett Packard 16 Z oh, no, 1640B serial data analyzer. What it is meant to do is through the use of settings through these pins that go in here and there's different cards that you put in there to line things up and set up. It is meant to hook to a computer to test serial data ports, simulate modems, that kind of thing. Not really anything that's useful in my television and radio repairs, but something very useful in computers. Because not only does it support the ASCII standard, and if you see down here, it'll actually also support EBSIDEC. Not that I intend on getting a mainframe at any time, but It'll work as a serial analyzer for them. And overall evaluation, just looking at it, it looks in good shape. Overall, it looks in pretty good condition. I can see some screen burn, which is to kind of be expected. Now, I have not powered this up. I just plugged it in. So we will see what happens. Ah, get a couple errors. Okay, there's a couple things wrong with it, but the one that I notice first, other than getting a RAM error code, but at least it tells me it's U22, so I can see which chip it is. Um, you'll notice the, uh, the screen's kind of vibrating. And it's also tilted a little, so it's going to need rotated, and it's scrunched at the bottom. The, the linearity is off, the vertical linearity is messed up. So, what I'm going to do is kind of open it up and start giving it a quick look. Um, and this way I kind of want to treat it almost like a TV because the issues are TV related. I want to start looking in the hor in the vertical section. You know, for the vertical linearity. And also to see where the instability is coming from, I check the power supply because that could also cause a RAM error if there's an issue with the power supply. But nothing horrible has happened as of yet, so let's see. And the fan's not running at a constant speed either, so... Maybe that ram air was just...
Yeah, that's definitely scrunched. What you're looking at right now is the AC ripple on the DC power supply. And um, let's see. It's a 40 volt or so output on the power supply and I've got a little over a tenth of a volt so 146 millivolts of AC it seems pretty stable so I'm going to check other things Okay, here you see the deflection board and high voltage board. Um, like everything in the HP, it's quite modular. Got the edge card connector at the bottom. When you look at the flyback, it actually has a little connector for the high voltage lead. So you can disassemble things and leave the CRT in there and leave the connector on the CRT for the high voltage now. This is the vertical area here. You know, just in general. And so I was spot checking a few components and I don't have a capacitor checker per se. And here's a 47U a microfarad tantalum, same here, same here. These are all the same, and they're all 35 volt. Uh, these are two 0.068 microfarad 50 volt film capacitors of some sort. And this is a 0.22, and these look to be film too, but they're higher capacitances. A 10, a 5, and a 0 0.022, all at 50 volts. And I don't have the capacitor checker, but I was checking them just with my multimeter. And this little tiny one reads 12.65 mega ohms resistance. This one, about half a K. This one, two megs. This one, shorted. This one, about one K. Yeah. And this one also has some stuff leaked out of it. So I'm thinking this cap, this cap, and this cap are bad. So I'm going to check in my stock and see if I have anything that would be comparable um, and just replace those three and then go from there also I'm going to download a service manual because I kind of need one on this because it's a little different than most things <laughs> 